Welcome back to the couch, the React couch. We're checking out people, actually just two men that love, ah! love a 12 inch and all ah! love can take a lot of abuse. Ah! Oh! Love balloons <laughs> and inflatables. <laughs> love them. I mean, love them. I like inflatables. Oh, you? <laughs> I mean, I like them. I love them. Right, you think he's got to love them. My name is Mark. I'm 20 years old. And I'm in a relationship with 15 inflatable animals. That's right. That's right. He's in a relationship with 15 inflatable animals. Not one. 15. Not two. Not even 10. 15. 15? 15. Can he love them all equally? I don't know, but he's, he's <laughs> speeding all of them. They, he is that. <laughs> I wonder how much he spends a night in food for him and all of his inflatables. Oh, you're not eating? Okay, we'll just throw it out. It's fine. <laughs> I'll eat with them, watch TV together. I bathe my inflatables. Let's get sure. Snap. <laughs> I do take my inflatables out swimming. Ah! He gave a kiss! <laughs> he gave a kiss! <laughs> I, I was just reminded of that. You know how they like these inflatables? They, they have a, like a distinct smell to them. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I was wondering if that dude just like smells like that all the time. It smells like, I don't know, like... <sighs> Plastic or something. Yeah, it's, it's just, just a weird plastic. Yeah. I, got, I bet this guy's like, mm, that's my baby. That's, that, <laughs> that smell. <man." laughs> Shit, that one's got them all wrapped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good covering his eyes up. Don't look. It's okay. Don't worry about the camera. <laughs> so romantic. Mark's addiction began six years ago when he purchased a whale for his pool. Since then, the 20 year old college student has added 14 animals to his inflatable family. Huh. Got a bunch of inflatables. He came four years ago when he was 16. He bought one for his pool. It was, it was like, love at first cannonball. Yeah. <laughs> what if that other one feels jealous? You know, anytime he sees the other one. So his first, his first love? Yeah. He sees all, all other 14 in there. Yeah. They're just like, well, Dane, I hate to break this to you. But they, they, they don't have personalities. They're inflatables. They don't have feelings. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> No oh, man, Mark is in love over here. <laughs> I can't, I can't take this. I don't, I refuse to believe it. All right, all right. Well, so we'll, we'll keep watching and see if one of them starts talking or something. <laughs> see if any of them love him back. <laughs> After all, held prisoner. I don't know. <laughs> when I first found out about Mark's inflatables, um, I thought that's strange. Or having you been to something that's not really real. I thought it was weird. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I thought it was strange. Yeah, his friend looks like he RPs as the other animals sometimes. Yeah. I, <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I know the sharks have this big like tattoo on him for. What is yeah. It? Maybe that's like where the, the handles used to be and you like pulled them off or something. This is brand. This is Mark's. <laughs> Probably a Mark. First turned to inflatables for love and affection when he was 14 years old. My mother really wasn't there for me when I was a child. So what, you started doing inflatables? What? <laughs> you needed mom to tell you that wasn't okay or what? The <laughs> first time I hugged my inflatable whale, I actually started feeling all that love and compassion that I never got from my mother. Oh, baby, stop, stop, stro stop stroking him like this, all right? <laughs> He can't be separated from them for more than a day. When I'm at school, when I start missing them, and it's almost like if I'm going a little bit crazy. Hey, Charlie. Once I go home. It's almost. <laughs> and of course, I'm going to edit it. It's like, it's almost like I'm going a little bit crazy. And he's like, over there, like, oh, oh, happy. Oh. <laughs> Uh, can't be without you, man. Ugh. Some like different types of music, some don't. Some like to just be lazy and sleep all day. I would say they get along together pretty well. Oh, at least they're not in there fighting each other. Yeah, yeah, they get along. Wow. That's nice. But well, who would win anyway? It'd have to be the sharks, right? Maybe that big freaking spiral thing, it chokes all the other ones out. <laughs> well, let's see what the internet has to say about this one. This guy would have survived the Titanic. <laughs> Facts! Is no one going to talk about how he made meals for all of them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm in a relationship with 15 inflatable animals. He's such a player. No. Mark oh is God. a player, dude. Man. Can you imagine this guy at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? 
Hey, I mean, he's one of the folks. Don't touch my girl. <laughs> Bro, I want to see what happens with one pop. Oh! God. Well, you know, that's that's the guy that's in love with the inflatables. Now we got a much older man who is, uh, who is attracted to just balloons in general. I'm 62 years old, and I'm addicted to balloons. He got one under his shirt, and he was so addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a connection with him. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive, but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. Hmm, the power of love strikes again. It's like a Disney movie. Yeah. Oh, Pinocchio, you're a, you're a real boy now. <laughs> <laughs> you're a real, real balloon. Come over here to the old Grandpa Geppetto now. <laughs> <laughs> weep, weep. <laughs> it's in the toy box with Woody and the rest of them. Intellectually, I know they're not alive, but my love brings them to life. Okay. <laughs> my first reaction was, wow, balloons, that's kind of strange. Oh, that's strange. It's just like this show's called My Strange Addiction. <laughs> so how would you, if you're going to word it in some way, could you use strange? Yeah. <laughs> that's strange. It's probably like, oh, man, I don't even talk to my uncle. He's freaking weird. <laughs> He came, my, he came to my birthday party one time and started <laughs> blowing up balloons getting real weird. <laughs> I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. Why? I, I don't know. I, I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's all you had to say. It's preference. Yeah, I got you, man. Yeah, Blonde, yeah. brunette, round. Spherical, yellow, orange, whatever. Yeah, see through, you know. I think this is uh this is the guy from the movie Up before uh <laughs> before that movie Up happened. Yeah, this is the guy for yeah. sure. His house is flying right now. <laughs> I have uh, magenta, purple, yellow, blue, red, and clear. I don't have many white ones, but I try to put the white ones in there. Like there's a white one over there, and then I got some orange and yellow and green. Wow. He's just he's just naming off colors. He's just naming off yeah, like show us your show us your balloon collection. Oh you guys are gonna love this. Man. I got I got I got purple, red, orange, blue, red. <laughs> 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 this, you know. I got oh, but only a couple white ones. Yeah, just a couple just white ones. A couple ones, white no, ones, just, you know, just keep that <laughs> you, know. you know the white the white ones are a little flat. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know <how> those get <laughs> And so this guy can't even go to sleep unless he's surrounded by balloons. Yeah. Can you notice their presence when you have your eyes closed? Not clear. Like the air conditioner comes on and you hear them kind of like doop, against each other. Oh, yeah, maybe. Hmm. He's got to get a good, like, uh, he uh, grabs one and he's like, <laughs> sings him to sleep. Like music to his ears. <laughs> oh, yeah, sing for me. Sing for me, old orange. <laughs> Oh, man, that don't sound the same as a good old purple. Hold on now. <laughs> One of my favorite balloons is the weather balloon. For me, it's the bigger the better. Of course, I can't get, you know, an eight-foot balloon in this room, so I, I settle for the five-foot. Settles. He says the same thing the last guy said. The bigger the better. Yeah, he did say that. The bigger the better. When I see a, a beautiful balloon, my heart starts to flutter, and I get aroused. I'll take a 12-inch, and I'll inflate it to 11 inches. Ah! That way, it can take a lot of abuse. Ah! Oh! Has this guy just been excited this whole time they've been filming? They've oh, been gosh. Walk around. Oh, that one over there. Yeah. <laughs> that one over here. He even made like, like, started making all these weird faces. Like, just like, oh, my balloon. The bigger the better. The bigger the better, baby. I'll take a 12 inch and I'll inflate it to 11 inch. That way it can take a lot of abuse. <laughs> that leaves room man. for one inch. <laughs> hang, hang on a second here. <laughs> So 12 inch, I take her down to 11 and take some more abuse, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, I'm holding one, you know, hugging it. I'll kiss it. And that's like being in heaven. I mean, don't you like to hug and kiss the woman that you love? If I don't deflate my woman to an 11 so she can take more abuse. <laughs> uh, sorry. A lunar. A lunar. <laughs> he's an old loon. Yeah, yeah, he's a loon for sure. My mother come to visit one time, and she gave me a, a real nice blue balloon. But that night, the nurse grabbed it, and I heard the balloon pop. I just cried myself to sleep. Well, that's a terrible story. Wow. Sick. My mom brought me a balloon. Nurse pops it. 
Right. After after she leaves the room too. And they stole his balloon. And then ever since then he's just been Dang. loves balloons. Huh. I wonder if he hates nurses too. Like everyone goes like, No, do not take my temperature. Get away from my balloons. <laughs> <laughs> my balloons. I'm pretty sure everybody just makes up a story about something their mom did. Why does it always be their mom? Right. It's like one time, my mom brought me a balloon. So now you just love... Okay, well, one time, my mom fed me freaking oatmeal. I don't love oh, it. Oh, I love me some oatmeal. <laughs> don't even get me started yeah, Guess what? That. She also gave me carrots and I ate them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go to car dealerships and um, do what I call a balloon rescue. And as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull, uh, misshapen. Yeah. You gotta save these balloons. He goes out and starts stealing other balloons. <laughs> Off of these cars. He's rescuing them so he can take them home and. He's Balloon Batman. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta say what he does, but he saves them, okay? Right, that's it. He yeah. just saves them. That's yeah, it. and he likes it they're a little deflated. <laughs> <laughs> the only people that know him is my family. My wife thinks it's strange, but she accepts it. Oh, he's married. His wife thinks it's strange? Oh. Where's she at? Interview her. Right. What she have to say about this? <laughs> she refused to participate. <laughs> the fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret uh, definitely points to that there is a, a, a problem. I don't think this dude's eyebrow ever chills out. He's like about to hit somewhere with a rock bottom. I'm the every day. Probably plays that music when he showed up the car lot. It's like, do you smell? <laughs> Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor, wants to confront the issue and convince Julius to see a therapist. Oh, and nephew. He's going to catch them hands, I bet. Yeah? He's like, hey, I'm going to go put it on. You're already addicted, son. He's like, what'd you say to me, boy? You see my hat right now? I ain't hurting nobody except for you. He's going to hit that eyebrow on him. He's like, what'd you say? Cowboy? <laughs> the, eyebrows, the, hat. <laughs> the eyebrow itself is going to take the hat off. <laughs> heard that there was a some physical attachment to these balloons maybe sexually now, ne now nephew don't be asking me about my, what i do in my own house now son <laughs> is, uh, i'll tell you what just don't come back for thanksgiving that's for sure <laughs> that's, that's for sure. Dang, sure. You mean, I, I, I gave you balloon every birthday you had Ain't you, <laughs> you ever think that maybe there's something wrong nope yeah, you know, nothing. Think there's something wrong? No, 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 no. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Why don't you tell anybody about it then? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be judged. You think I'm this, weird. I want people coming and peeking at my collection. They're mine! All them poppers out there will come over <laughs> and start trying to get me. Oh, collecting them, I started when I was about eight. So you're 62 now, so that's what? 40? 40, 40 years. 40 years of balloon loving. Not a dull moment. <laughs> Got a wife yeah, in there my somewhere. My favorite colors. Yeah. <laughs> if they're still floating, I'll let them float until they fall, and then I'll untie them and powder them, put them in a bag. Well, when you when you say powder them, what? Talcum powder. Talcum powder. That keeps them from, from sticking together. Huh. Why would they stick together? <laughs> seen a psychologist before and about the only thing he said to me is well you're not hurting anybody so why worry about it so there you go yeah, yeah. so All i right. saw somebody say you ain't hurting nobody whatever man you know there you go. throw some talcum powder on them and they won't <laughs> stick together so it's all good <laughs> well let's see what the internet has to say about this guy boomers these gen kids <laughs> gen z kids are weird <laughs> also boomers <laughs> he has intercourse with one balloon he uses another balloon <laughs> <laughs> This guy's wife is probably a blow-up doll. <laughs> That's why she refused. Oh, wow. Would you like to be interviewed? She just sat there, covered in talcum powder. He's not in love with balloons. He's in love with his mom who brought him a balloon as a child during a traumatic whoa, hospital stay. Whoa, whoa, don't make this even weirder. Oh, Jesus come on. <laughs> the most shocking thing in this entire video is that he had a wife. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he isn't invited to his grandkids' birthday parties. <laughs> He's got to save the balloons. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like I had the uh, the thought as a kid, like when I had a balloon and like feeling an attachment to your balloon, like you know, it's like oh my balloon, and then it pops, and you're like oh, 
no he like playing with it, you know bounces up and everything yeah. but i don't know it's just it's going a step further you know yeah. oh, actually like eight steps further I mean, I just didn't want to hit the lava on the ground. Yeah, I know, you know, right? So I was just like diving. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like hitting it to keep it alive, you know? Even yeah. though I'm in the lava, it didn't matter to me. <laughs> I'm immune to it. It's all about the balloon. Say <laughs> balloon lives. Thank you guys very much for checking out the video. We'll see you guys next time.